so excited. I'm about to go get my nails done and um, a little backstory. So I have been here in LA for possibly almost, am I going on five years, four years? I don't even remember, but it's been a while. And I still would go to Stockton to get my nails done. So I've been going to Vivian for quite some time now and I am a very loyal client, okay? If I find somebody and they have all of the qualities that I need, I will stick with you until the day that I find somebody new. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, really, I will stick with you forever until I can't anymore, you know? Um, but I was, you know, I was very committed. I found a few places here. Like, I knew realistically, like, I needed to find something here in LA because this is my new home. So, like, I can't keep going back to Stockton. Although Vivian is amazing and my nails would last, it just wasn't realistic. And also, you know, I had to wait six weeks or so to get my nails done again. And I wasn't able to get a fresh set, you know, every so often. So, I recently found a new spot and after so long of you know trying different places trying different nail artists um, you know a lot of them are really good but a lot of the times it was just like inconvenience their times it was too far how long it would take me to get there because like out here in LA like girl you're, you're in traffic for most of, the, most of your life you know so there was a lot of just like little things here and there that unfortunately didn't make the experience like great for me or make me want to like leave Vivian I literally would just drive over there and just I knew I was I knew I was always going to be happy with my set you know like I knew I was always going to be happy with my experience and I just was also comfortable so I found a new place I was on TikTok and I went on TikTok and I put Russian manicures in the LA area and this spot popped up and it was actually one of the girls that works there it was her video and her nails look so freaking good she got a Russian manicure which I actually have been wanting to try because I my nails they're my nails like they are my natural nails and i really wanted to just ex like have a russian nail for i really wanted to try a russian manicure because i had heard so many great things about them but obviously i had never found anything so that place happened to be a russian i can't even fucking talk today it happened to be a russian manicure spot so i went to go get my nails done for the first time, uh, Nazanin and I were actually looking for a nail spot because we used to go to the to a nail spot that was. I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'm back because I couldn't talk. So Nazanin and I, it's like I feel like I'm trying to give you guys so much information, and my brain and my mouth can't comprehend it. Nazanin and I used to go to a nail spot in Northridge, and they were good, but they're very inconsistent. Like sometimes I would love my nails, and then other times I'd be like, "What the fuck was this?" So. Nazani was already feeling like that too so then I told her about this spot and I was like hey I was like I'm gonna book us an appointment I said we could go try it out together for the first time we both got two different girls and they were so good like they my nails looked phenomenal guys like oh my god my nails looked so freaking good um I got a French tip that time this time I got like a design um they're not ready for me to get a new set but I have a photo shoot so I needed to get um something a little bit cleaner and um, yeah, they were so good. I actually also brought my sister and my sister-in-law last weekend to get their nails done. And they also tried two new girls and their nails look so good. So my point to that is that all of the nail techs there are so freaking bomb. Like they're so good. And it's really hard to find places like that. Like usually there's like one good one at the nail spot. Like these girls, they're all so good. The pedicures look so good. Like my hands and feet, like they just feel so nice. Um, so yeah, I put like all my friends like all my friends just transferred over. They're all getting their manis there now and I'm just really happy because I feel like I'm slowly really just turning LA into home and I know it's like the smallest thing but 
finding that was like such a like uh, like a breath of fresh air that i'm like finally because getting my nails done guys that's like the one thing in my life that i'd rather get my nails done than have my makeup on i'd rather have my nails done than have my hair done i will choose my nails until the day that i die like nails are everything to me like i just appreciate a nice like beautiful set of nails so it was just like such a like you know feeling for me a little breath of fresh air and yeah i'm on my way right now to get my nails done. so it's just a little history a little background on this place but i'm gonna go get my nails done right now and i was gonna do a french tip but i'm thinking i'm gonna do an ombre just because i already did the frenchie and i love it but i did realize that i'm not a design girl like i did a little design i don't know if you guys can tell the lighting's a little i had like this little like cute chrome design and it was very simple but I wasn't like oh my god my nails you know like I realized that as I've gotten older I've become just a lot more like I was already plain like I'm even more like I'm I used to be basic I'm even more basic now like I am the basicest of the basicest like if you were to google basic it would say Miss Blanca Garcia at Yvette XO she is the queen of basic like she is the example of basic but now I'm like extra. Like I've realized that I am a French tip girly. I'm a just clean nails girly. Like I don't want designs. I don't want anything like that. If I do a color, it's gonna be just a solid color. And yeah, that's kind of the vibes. So I'm excited to get my nails done. I'm gonna get my toes done too. So I'm gonna bring you guys along so you guys can see the vibes. And I'll see you guys when I get to the next one. the road again i came home for like 15 minutes <laughs> i was making some quick rice real quick but now i have to go pick up the kiddos i was gonna send ulises to pick them up but max and camila love when i pick them up because ulises takes them to school so they always ask me they always say mommy can you pick us up from school please <laughs> So I'm like, of course, my children. Of course, my children. Anything for you guys. Um. So yeah. Um, the nail salon was a success, guys. My feet. I want to tell you guys right now what happened to my feet. But my hands look so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're like ombre. Can you guys see? Bunch. there we go they're like ombre um okay so if you guys own the ug the little slippers like the the what are they called tas tasmanian no the tasmanian no the tas whatever they're called if you guys own those um slippers i don't know if you could this happens to you guys but i have two pairs of them i have the ones with like the brown stripe and they're not platform and then i have the ones with the red stripe which are platform and the brown ones are perfect like they fit perfect they um don't have they like don't give me any issues they stay on my foot like they're really like really really good they're my favorite i love them the platform ones i don't know if i was supposed to size up but they be coming out of my foot like they slip off okay so i was wearing them yesterday and this is the first time that i wear them like all day and i was wearing them yesterday and i don't know if it was because my foot was like coming in and out in and out in and out in and out of like the chancla and i was wearing socks okay the back of my foot like el tobillo it's so fucked up like it's it looks like i was walking barefoot it's like all messed up and it hurts and i got a pedicure today and i told the girl to not do like the scrub thingy my trigger like not the scrubbing but like you know that thing that they for your 
or like the calluses is that what it's called when they like rub that like cheese grater i don't even like that they do that um but she asked me and she's like hey like you really need it because my feet were fucked up and i was like no it's okay i was like um just do like the regular like scrub and even that was hurting my foot so bad and um yesterday i put vaselina because anytime that like my feet feel like they're rajados or like they they're like going through life if i put vaselina and my and my socks on top my feet wake up feeling amazing well my feet didn't get cured overnight let me tell you okay so i think for the next like week i'm gonna have to put vaselina on my feet because they're fucked up and i don't know if you guys have ever experienced that but those fucking shoes did it and i don't know why my foot slips out and they're so uncomfortable like don't fall for the hype unless you're gonna like get another size up i don't know but they were not they were not it and like i said the the ones without the platform are fine i love them they fit perfect but the ones with the platform are the ones that effed me up i was like <laughs> tear ah oh my god i fucking hate that my car does that <laughs> So yeah, it messed me up. So my feet are healing right now. But my toes look so cute. I got my toes done. I did like a milky white. So they look super pretty. But I'm loving my nails. They look so cute. Don't they just look cuter like natural and like short? She's a natural girly. But yeah, let me go pick up the kiddos. And I'll see you guys later. I need pretty girl. I just did Camila's hair. Okay, go out downstairs and eat. Go downstairs and eat, okay? She's got Max, Max, Maxie, wake up, baby. Okay, let's see your sweater. Let's see your sweater. Where are you and I going? <laughs> Come on, Max. Hello. Hi. Hi. Another day, another dollar, honey. We are off to work. I am going to have a very busy day today. Going to work. Um, I'm probably going to be there all day most of my day i did film a get ready with me for you guys today for my outfit um and then yeah i'll be gone most of my day just ah my freaking camera thought it was gonna die i mean that doesn't even fall so yeah i'm super excited today is a great day i woke up so early i did so much i did everything i needed to do and i'm so happy <laughs> guys um, I didn't even tell you guys about what happened when I was um, here the other day. One of the um, guys that I work with for my creative development, he got a note that said to stop parking in the neighbor's parking spot. And now I get like scared that they're gonna come out and tell me to move. <laughs> it's because I have I have more than two employees, and our spots are only two slots. So I'm like, where the hell am I gonna like send everybody? So yeah, I'm like, please don't leave a note on my car. <laughs> At work, guys, and look who called me. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, he, he called me and he has me looking at the sky. <laughs> what a beautiful view. <laughs> what a beautiful view. 
beautiful of you. I love the sky. The, why, I'm going to be like, what happened to the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that movie? Yeah, White Chicks. What happened, oh my God, what happened to the sun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> puras pendejas. Maybe I shouldn't call you so often. Nomás te haciendo te reír. Ya puras pinches botox. Te voy a mandar para el botox. Sí, me tienes que mandar para el botox porque me estás... I actually have to get botox. I already made my appointment. I have to go on Friday. Me estás, dando a, me estás dando a arrugas. Are you blogging? I am. Do you want to tell them any? Do you want to tell them the tea or what? What tea? What tea? What do the girls want to know? What do the girls want to know? It's Levita and Yvette. Like, fuck. But aquí casi no hay cheese, my friend. I know. Bueno, fuera a tener chisme para estar uno bien entretenido. Es que nos entendemos. Tú I'm y yo siempre. I'm literally telling you, bitch, you look different, huh? With it just me, girl. Because look at her. I don't know. Something about her. She's glowing. Me miro, look pero me miro, me miro bonita, ¿o qué? <laughs> Let me... Yes, friend. You're pretty. You look pretty. No, I'm being that serious, for real. Like, no sé si es el pelo or, or what it is. Might be... Did you get it longer? No. <laughs> this is my hair. I mean, it grew. Okay. Or maybe because, like, I've seen you, like, for long years before. Sí. <laughs> es porque siempre cuando me... <laughs> es porque siempre cuando me llamas, siempre ando... I look like shit. Es la primera vez que me hablas y que me, me encuentras arreglada. No, ayer también. Dije, fuck, mi friend dijo, new year, new me. It's because es que si me miras fobongis cada vez me miras allá lavando toilets y cambiando pañales. Ahora me encontraste en la oficina. For real. Siempre te marco para todos lados, huh, friend. I know. Cuando vas a la tienda when you're picking up the kids. Me and Ivette, we're like comadres. I think we always keep up with each other, pero like por ratitos. Like we call each other and be like, hi girl, yeah, uh-huh. I know. Dude, el otro día que me hablaste, and I'm like, I'm in the toilet, I'll call you back. Oh, You're oh like, my oh my god, god I forgot. No, la friend entra ya en los toboganes. Ahí andaba en los toboganes. Es que nerviosa. She was on the damn fucking water slide. <laughs> You're crazy. Well, the lighting in here is horrible. Like, there's big ass light on top of it. But I'm at work. And since I love you guys so much, I'm going a bottle. Since I love you guys so much, I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek of our new brushes that are gonna be launching. These don't launch until. <sighs> probably like the end of february maybe the end of february um it's not a new product so this is why i'm gonna show you guys but i want to show you guys the revamp okay so our brushes are one of our like best sellers i am so happy that you guys loved our brushes we definitely tried to keep them at a you know a more affordable cost for you guys they're amazing quality they are some of my favorite i literally took a bunch of my favorite brushes and created a whole collection and made them my own even the one that i like created created which was my original paint brush i will show you guys on here but it's basically my favorite go-to brushes we revamped them um adding them up with a little bit more hair we added a little bit more hair to just make them extra fluffy and then um, we changed the color. So let me show you guys. So this is 107. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Ah, so this is our old 107 brush right here. This is the color of it. And then this is our new 107 brush and the color of it like look how pretty she looks like do you guys see the extra fluff on this one and then the color we went with our finally okay so exo cosmetics when i first started exo cosmetics i 
didn't have like an actual pantone color like i was new to all of this like this was like all fresh to me like i had to learn everything step by step and i didn't have like an original um color i just knew that i liked this like pinky color i knew i liked like a light beigey color well i started noticing that after it started being printed in different products because it was so light it would just wash out the whole product so i was like you know what i need to just emphasize the pink a little i'm like i need to just like plump it up so i ended up finding a pantone that i loved and pantone is a color for those of you guys who don't know what the hell i'm talking about um it's a color from a color book and i ended up finding this shade of pink which i love i'm obsessed with it's actually the color of my car um it's like one of my favorite pinks it has a little bit of like a peachy undertone which i love um but pinks are so hard to do guys like there's been a lot of our products that look a little they look too purple or they look too um bright or they look too orange and it's like pink is the hardest color to nail and we've come across a lot the reason why this brush took so long is because the top handle is like a metal and then the bottom handle is made out of wood so because it's two different materials to get the two pinks to match was a literal headache okay and i'm telling you guys the back end because i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what the hell i always do over here at the warehouse but there's a lot that goes um along with like creating a product and i told myself that this year i really wanted to bring you guys along with the journey of exo cosmetics so you guys know not only who you're supporting but what you're supporting as far as like what products we're coming out with um how long the process takes to create the actual product and for you guys to feel basically proud to purchase from our website you know because i am a small business still i still do everything in-house i everything is from like my little savings account like everything that i invest into my brand is from me you know everything i make i reinvest into my brand you know so this is my baby you know and i love her but the brushes have been like my favorite and the ones that i've been the most excited to launch but like i said they took a little bit because we had to just perfect like the handle and the wood and that's been like the hardest part but we finally nailed it and this is what the little brushes look like so you guys are gonna see us launching these sometime in like a month and a half or so just because we have to like get them shipped out but this is the brow one so cute and then this is the one that i was telling you guys that i created where's she at where's she at okay so these two brushes these two brushes they're very precise in how many um let me see it's very precise in how many hairs are in the brushes like in the actual bristles because we wanted to make sure that it gave that like paintbrush effect i have a paintbrush that i love that i got on amazon and it's an actual paintbrush and the reason why i wanted to replicate it is because i have never seen a brush like that like in an actual like cosmetic brush i always had to use paintbrushes and a lot of makeup artists they'll tell you like they use paintbrushes to basically like carve you know your makeup carve your brows carve um you know different areas of your your makeup if you're an artist and stuff like that you'll know what i'm talking about well i decided to just bring it into an actual brush and this is how i created these two so yeah so i'm really excited for this launch and i cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on our new brushes luggage or something to carry everything that i have because i carry way too many stuff like my bag my work bag my work bag has hollow stuff for no reason at all like i have a hundred million things right now with me but i'm thinking if i should make a quick target stop would you i didn't go to target because i'm gonna make it home for dinner Mommy, 
children. No, again! Psst, psst. Psst, psst. Hi. Yeah, I didn't go because Lisa's has been with the kids all day. Um, we picked them up at three, but what time is it right now? Five, six, it's 5.40. Um, Lisa's been with the kiddos, so I wanted to at least make it home early to be able to shower them, get myself situated. I was at work most of the day, but I still have some other stuff to do. So I'll have dinner with the babies, shower them up, get them ready for the day, I mean for the night, and then once they're in bed, I'll finish my work because I have some other stuff. I have a meeting tomorrow, so I need to get that situated but let me update you guys on well they finished my room <laughs> that's done i have to decorate so this is why i wanted to go to target because i need to get like stuff for here and for here i'm thinking like some cute books some frames like just make it look really nice you know like some little frames like this <laughs> i just have the pictures still i don't have an actual photo but i want to put like like little pictures up like maybe a few different pictures like some book stuff i need to fill this thing up with our waters because we and then they have to come and fix this so it doesn't move we have to put like a a piece of wood at the bottom um but yeah we have to fill it up with water because we'll be getting thirsty at night let me tell you honey and then in here we have just like our drawer space and then let me show you guys i'm so happy because i don't have to put my kobe has in the garage anymore i mean in the garage in the laundry room anymore and then we have our little storage just here but yeah this is what the room looks like which i love feels really cozy in here so we ended up adding a cabinet outside like i mentioned to you guys this obviously is not going to get painted but look how good it looks i'm obsessed this is actually the first time i'm seeing it right now um, they brought that down. Obviously, we're gonna paint all of that white. And then this whole like little area is just gonna be perfect for blankets. This has to be here because it's our wife. Look how spacious it is. We're gonna have so much storage for blankets and all of that, which was what I wanted. Because the other thing we used to have, it was like a little counter and then there was like a cabinet it honestly was like so wasteful we never stored anything it was just like there for no reason so when the whole leak happened um and this had to go i was like oh my god <laughs> um thank you god <laughs> so that's what we did and then in the laundry room this is a sink this is all going to have um like that little counter space thing like quartz on top and it's gonna go like over here and then we have our cabinets installed on top and then we added cabinets over here but then we added this little rail which i'm obsessed with because now we're gonna be able to hang our stuff because my mom loves to uh, actually like do laundry and she hangs i don't even know if she's gonna reach because i can barely reach she's not gonna reach oh my gosh she's so small <laughs> she's so small she's barely gonna reach like but this is going to be for her to hang um, all of the stuff because she does a lot of laundry. <gasps> Why are you so cry? You cry so cute. New potato head. Hmm? Mr. Potato Head? Yeah. <laughs> Look at little belly. <laughs> it was just like Lisa's, huh, guys? Look, literal twins. Yes. I gave birth to Lisa's. But a cuter version. <laughs> I have makeup. Don't kiss me. He's biting his teeth a lot. Oh, your teeth hurt? Oh my goodness. I'm showering the kids real quick. She was panicking because the light turned off. Did he cry? No, she doesn't cry. She's brave. She's a brave girl. Come on, you little chicken again. Come on. Be careful, okay? Don't fall. 
He's learning all of his sight words right now. Uh, yeah, go downstairs. He's learning all of his sight words and he asks me all the time like how to spell stuff and I'm like, honey, <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask about spelling. <laughs> Wrong person. If I was to ever consider homeschooling, which I'm still in the process of trying to figure out all the information, if you guys have your kids in homeschooling, like especially in California, what process did you have to take? But not you teaching, but hiring a tutor. Because there's no way that I would be able to homeschool my kids. I'm sorry, I would not be able to do it because I can barely understand what the hell I'm reading half of the time when they're with their homework. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that say? Um, so yeah, I would need to hire somebody. But yeah, my poor children. Max was like, how do you spell supercalifactualisticexpialidocious? And I'm like, uh, I'm just kidding, but that's what it sounds like in my head that he's asking me. So yeah, um, but yeah, I'm gonna just call it a night. I have to shower Camila, she's my last one. And then I'm gonna eat, figure out my life. Um, I have some work stuff to do, but. Today was a fun vlog. Thank you guys for joining me. Also, before we leave, guys, I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys remember, um, I got rid of my Jeep sometime last year. And the winner of the Jeep was actually from Houston, Texas. And she got a car for 50 bucks. She's still riding around in the Jeep. Um, like she was sending me pictures of like her in the car, her kids in the car. And it was really exciting to like just see like one of my girls writing my jeep especially with like so much history behind her well anyways fast forward it was in houston i went to houston i flew out there because remember i met up with my friend juani which a lot of you guys have seen on my channel and which i'm sure a lot of you guys follow if you guys don't i'll link her instagram right here so juani is actually going to be raffling her jeep and i am so excited because she reached out to me and she was like bestie we call each other bestie by the way she's like bestie she's like i was so inspired by like just the whole moment honestly like she was there witnessing everything like the girl picking up the car um and just like that moment of like her literally walking away with that one ticket that she purchased and she was like i've been trying to like figure out what to do with my jeep like i've been wanting to like get rid of her and like she has such an emotional attachment to her jeep she's just like me we're both jeep girls i always i always have to go into stories but i remember when we went to houston and Louisa's and i drove her jeep for the first time and i was like done i was like we're done we're getting this freaking jeep i want it i want her um i had already wanted a jeep but i never actually like test drove it so she was the one who like made me that little push and so yeah we're both jeep girlies and she was like i've been trying to figure out how i can just like get rid of her what i want to do with her so all of the information is going to be posted tomorrow on her instagram guys so I'm super excited because i will actually be there with her um to deliver the jeep to whoever wins it so whether you're in like colorado if you're in houston if you're in mississippi if you're in tennessee if you're in california if you're in mexico like wherever you are i'm just throwing random ass places but wherever you are if you are the jeep winner juani and i will personally be delivering her jeep and i'm so excited because i love like these moments but yeah that's what she's gonna be doing so all the information i'll tell you guys more information like all my stories also if you guys don't follow me on snapchat make sure you guys head over to my snapchat because that is where i'm at 24 7 that is where i am from the moment i wake up to the moment i go to sleep i will give you guys more information but it's going to be running for i believe like 30 days or so so get it for you get it for a friend and see who wins but i'm so excited more details to come and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one. Love you guys.